Steer. Go. We're gonna hit someone. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Jackson, do you like doing puzzles? Jackson, do you like doing puzzles? Jackson, here. Okay. Do you like doing puzzles? Yeah. All right. Can you find the next one that goes right here? Mama, baby. Mama, baby. Here, Jackson. Jackson. Is he sad? Because he I'm just, like zoning out. Oh. <laughs> here. It's been about a week since I had these braids in. And it's about time that I uh, get them out. I wonder if I can. Oh my gosh. That is so much better. They always look funny when I take them out. I had to scratch my head. It felt so good to scratch my head. One, two, three. So we are at one of our favorite restaurants, and maybe we should have went to somewhere else. Um, it's not Chipotle, but it does start with the C. It's not open on Sundays. If you know what I'm talking about, comment below, pause the video, and write down below what you think we are gonna get for lunch. <sighs> I hate lines. That's one of my biggest pet peeves is like lines. I'm trying to practice patience when I'm at the grocery store or waiting at a fast food place or waiting to check out anywhere, practicing patience, not pulling out my phone, embracing that quiet, that's that, embracing that silence, that, no. Okay, should one of us go in? No, I don't want to go in. No. Or do we, should we go in? And they can play in that area for a little bit? Or no? I think that's too much. I don't, know. I don't think so. Just stay in the car? Yeah, let's just stay in the car. <laughs> so, but it's all about just embracing that silence. You know, when you're at, two? just stay in this lane. When you are at um, a stoplight, you know, that's, there's dead, quote unquote, dead air. And you pull out your phone. I'm trying to just embrace it, trying to look around, trying to know my surroundings. But that's really difficult. If you know what I mean, let me know in the comments. Are you going to get it in I don't know. Should I? It's a great day at Chick-fil-A. This is Lily and how can I serve you? 
Hi, can I get a number three with 12? A number three with salt? With 12 count, please. Oh, 12 count. Okay. Anything else? Can you make that a meal? And then a grilled chicken sandwich with no bun, a gluten-free bun, please. And then a number two meal. Okay, so your total is going to be $29.83, please. Thank you. Thank you. $29? I knew it was going to be expensive. What the world? Get out. Get out. <laughs> That's ridiculous. $29 for all that food? All right, well, that hit the spot. Um, definitely took a little chunk out of our bank account, but that's okay. $29 for Chick-fil-A. It is expensive. That is expensive. For like I fast always, food? Yeah. For fast food, that's really expensive. I think um, everything is on like a Chipotle scale. Chipotle is here because you get the best bang for your buck, right? You could basically get two meals out of Chipotle for less than maybe $8. But with Chick-fil-A, it's pretty good, but you're paying a lot more than you would pay for Chipotle. So I would rather go to Chipotle than Chick-fil-A, in my, in my opinion. That's just me. What about you? They're like two totally different foods. Look, you're blown out, but it's okay. So it's like, are you craving Chipotle or Chick-fil-A? It's not like... But are you craving fat wallets or are you craving <laughs> someone to steal your money? That's what Chick-fil-A just did to us. Chick-fil-A just stole our money. I feel like we have Chipotle so often that I'm like kind of sick of it. See, this is why I can't go anywhere with her. I can't go any anywhere with her at all. <laughs> no, I'm not. I love my Chipotle. <laughs> like a little hill, like a little bump. Oh, you'll be okay. Go ahead. Jackson, are you excited? Oh my gosh. Here we go. Oh Three, two, one, go! She's so scared. <laughs> Malcolm, are you ready? Push. Jackson, are you ready? Yeah. Push. Yeah. Lindsay, are you ready? Jackson, or Cameron, slow it down uh, with your hand. Just push him in the... It still goes fast. Yeah. But he won't get whitewashed. The first time I did it, I uh, was using my feet to, to slow us down and we got just whitewashed. Just all in our face, just snow everywhere. I was like... Ah! <laughs> Everybody! Now I know it's Thankful Thursday today, and I wanted to do it a little bit differently this week, just to switch it up a little bit. But when I was sledding with the boys, Lindsay and my dad and my nephew, Kenny, it was just an awesome time. And I really enjoyed being outside. Um, the past couple of weeks, it's been really cold, as you guys know if you follow the vlog. And it was just nice to get outside and enjoy the winter weather. I just enjoyed it. And while I was sledding, I was like, man, this is some great quality family time that we're having right now. Making memories, having fun. We're not around electronics. And I was like, man, I'm so thankful for our family because it's just a place where we can provide encouragement, understanding, hope, comfort, advice, values, morals, ideals, faith, all of the good things like that. I just really enjoyed the family. So if you have family, that's something that you should be thankful for this week. Here, 
here. He uh, doesn't want to participate. He's taking his hat off. And he just actually just doesn't want to go sledding right now. He just wants to slide down the hill on his stomach. You know, two-year-olds will do what two-year-olds want to do. <laughs> 